Jeff. All right, our next presenter, and just a reminder if you're just getting in here, uh, all the information from all the presenters are in the back along that back table there. So check that out if you want to pick up brochures, pamphlets, business cards, whatever. It's all back there. And then Matthew Cosell, his music um, is in the back there as well. CDs for sale, yes. There's also a few uh, poetry chapbooks back there as well if you're interested uh, in getting those as well. Those are mine. All right, our next presenter is Rebecca Pichota. She's with the Slum Doctors Program. Uh, she is the educational director of the Slum Doctors Program. Slum Doctors is a local nonprofit which aims to support those negatively impacted by the AIDS epidemic. SDP provides education about AIDS to the local ben Bellingham community, as well as an international support to community-based organizations working in Africa. Rebecca. Hey, thanks so much, and thanks so much for having us at this event. All right. Hey, uh, Slum Doctor Program is a local nonprofit based right here in Bellingham. We actually have our offices in this very building right down the hall. Um, and if you want to check out after the speakers, we have a bunch of um, information about our organization and the CDs from the um, Throat Singers and I think another musician are being sold right back there in our offices. One out of every four people in Africa is infected with HIV or AIDS at this moment, and it has a gigantic effect both on the individual and population uh, socio-political landscape of how the continent is able to function. At Slum Doctor, we're a small nonprofit. We only have two staff members, um, myself and our director, Paul Barkley. And so we have to do what we can with what we have to, to try and alleviate some of the negative impacts of AIDS. So what we found that we're able to do is offer um, support to community-based organizations in Uganda and Kenya. So what we do is we seek out grassroots organizations that um, are made up of community members that are trying to figure out the answers for themselves within their communities. And we offer them the sort of um, capacity building, technological, and sometimes financial support and advice. But we don't go in with our own pre-existing ideas of how, what we think their community needs. Instead, we find people that are trying to work things out for themselves and just offer whatever support they feel they could find from us. <coughs> I just ate some carrots. <laughs> um, yeah, so we believe change needs to come from within the community to have a lasting effect. A lot of um, nonprofits that are working um, to alleviate the impacts of the AIDS epidemic, they, they go into a community, they build a clinic that they staff, and then when they no longer have funding, they leave, and there's a huge hole left within that community. So it, to have a substantial, uh, sustainable uh, effect, the, commun the community needs to, the change needs to come from within the communities, not from outside. So we found a couple of really amazing community-based organizations that we partner with. Um, there's a girls' school, um, and there's the partnership that we're working on most strongly right now is with Busoga Shining Light Association. And it's a group of uh, AIDS widows, so all their husbands have died of AIDS. And the widows are trying to have a sustainable source of income to support their children and themselves. And this is actually really hard to do from growing maize, which is what the husbands usually did before they got sick. And so uh, BSLA is helping train the women to um, make crafts, recyclable, sustainable crafts, as a supplement to their um, agricultural income. And the uh, Slum Doctor program is trying to help them market and sell their beads here in America where there's a much bigger market. Because one thing that America really has to offer in developing countries is money. <laughs> we, we think we have uh, answers, but really we don't. One thing we do have to offer is financial support. And so what I'm trying to do is take these amazing, um, these jewelry that they make from recycled magazines and newspapers and sell and market them here in the States. So we call it the Hope Beads Program. And you can go to slumdoctor.org, and you can find we have an entire online catalog and shopping cart. And we also have um, the Party for a Purpose program, which we just launched in the last couple of weeks. You can go online and 
register to host a party out of your own house and we'll send you um, Ugandan music, a DVD with interviews from the crafters themselves, um, and a whole slew of the jewelry that we sell. And you invite your friends and family over, have a party at your house, sell and distribute the jewelry as well as tell these women stories about the amazing work that they're doing to, to build a life for themselves and their children. And then the money gets sent back through us, gets sent back to the women in Africa. I think it's a really amazing program and we're hoping it's really gonna, it's gonna launch and go big. The other arm of what we do is the Global AIDS Education Program and that's actually local right here in Bellingham. And I'm in charge of this program, it's starting up in the fall. I'm gonna be recruiting college students to go into the local middle schools and high schools and give a one hour workshop about the impact of AIDS in Africa. And we're really not all about the, the, the lecture paradigm, we really try to have a very interactive curriculum that we go into the schools with. We have a lot of games, um, getting the kids moving to really, um, it's hard to, I'm gonna have to describe one of the activities. Um, we have all those students stand up and we tell them that they represent the population of a certain country in Africa. And then we'll have um, you know, a third of them sit down and say, look around, everyone that's sat down is, impact, is infected with HIV or AIDS. And so these sort of interactive activities that really get the children thinking, as opposed to the information passing in one ear and out the other. <laughs> All right. um, so that's pretty much my spiel. Um, we have our information and some samples of the jewelry that we sell by the women over here that you can check out. Thanks so much. <laughs>